Today, we're going to talk about how to get local businesses that'll pay for your marketing. It'll be very hard for you to do anything that we talk about today if you don't already have kind of an established, respectable, oh, you know, you're doing a good job marketing yourself online. When you approach a business owner, I'm not going to recommend you just call them up out of the blue and say, give me money. It doesn't work that way. I don't call you guys out of the blue to say, come hire viral marketing. I publish really great content. I teach free marketing class. We do free consultations. There's trust, there's need, there's rapport built. And then finally, when you're ready, at no pressure to you with a money back guarantee, you can hire viral marketing. There's a sales process you have to respect. So essentially, the way that you're going to approach business owners is you're going to invite them to be a guest on your video blog. You're going to invite them to an interview on, on your podcast, on an interview to be able to, to ask them questions about their business or to answer commonly asked questions that their customers have on your blog. All right. So you're not going to initially reach out as, hey, give me money or we should work together in like a deep way. They don't really know you yet or really know you in that way yet, even if you have a relationship with them. You're going to reach out to invite them for an interview. How do we build the list of businesses that have money? that want to get in front of your real estate audience, that want to get in front of your database and buyers and sellers that really like your blog, that would love to be interviewed and probably build some type of strategic partnership or relationship with you in any ways that maybe money trades hands or maybe it doesn't. There's, there's pros and cons in both ways. When you come up with a business that you want to approach, you're going to be better off with a higher margin business, high margin. This is going to be a financial advisor. A customer to them is worth a lot of money. All right. This might be a solar company. A customer to them is worth a lot of money. It could even be a property management company, especially if these are more, you know, probably homes over $1,500, $1,700 a month that they rent for. Or maybe you have a relationship with investors that have lots of properties. A property management company could, for certain situations, be considered a higher margin. All right. But what I'd say probably isn't a good business is um, kind of your run-of-the-mill insurance agent that's just getting kind of their entry-level policies. There's not much margin there. You're looking for businesses that have a high customer value per client where they're okay spending a couple hundred dollars, if not even a couple thousand dollars, like many of you do in real estate, to acquire the customer. 96% what I read from like the Small Business Association of businesses do a less than a million dollars a year in revenue. That's top line gross, not net. Revenue. Those are small businesses. They don't have any money to spend on marketing. It's usually the owner working by referral only. Oh, I don't do marketing. I don't do sales. I just work by referral. Stay away from those people. They don't have any money. They probably don't have much of a database. Now, they may be great service providers, But it's not somebody that you'll probably be able to kind of get money from and do some high-level co-marketing with because they don't have any experience writing checks to get business. Are they spending money on marketing? Well, are they advertising in the newspaper? Do they have running ads running for Google ads? Do you hear them on the radio? These are all wonderful, wonderful prospects. And we'll talk about this. One of, the, one of the easiest ways to find prospects is go down to the 7-Eleven and go buy yourself a copy of the paper and start circling all the advertisers in there. Because all the advertisers are in there are trying to get in front of homeowners. Think about, think about all your transactions. If I sat down with you and I said, hey, let's go through all of your transactions and let's figure out who's making money off these transactions. There's some painters, some found, if you're a Texas foundation repair, seems like every single house has it right? Uh, Maybe you're in Southern California and there's solar. People want to put solar on their properties. Like who else is making money? Who's, who am I writing checks to, or who do I know has been helping out with a lot of my deals? Is there anyone that meets the previous criteria I shared with you that you already know, or you already write checks to? Okay. And write those names down because you want to start with the people you know first especially if you know people that meet the previous criteria that we talked about. Now, let's say there's people that you know. Let's say that they're spending money on marketing. Let's say that it's complimentary to real estate, meaning they really want to be in front of a pre-mover list. Their business makes sense for that. And they're a high margin business. Oof, you're sitting on opportunity. The only other thing I could possibly think of is 3E is the larger the company, the better. A larger company with resources to spend.